multiplication of decimals. Multiplication of decimals is what we'll be looking at today. Of decimals. Multiplication of decimals. Unless you're going to deal with that. You are, for example, we're going to deal with examples and it will be easier for us to deal with. I'll give you two methods, but I'll start with one today. You have 1.2 times 2.5. 1.2 times 2.5. The first thing you should know is that you must always try to identify the number of decimal places. This first number here has one decimal place. This one has one decimal place. Add the two results, you have two decimal places. Keep it there. Don't make it a VDX. Come down and multiply the numbers without decimal points. That is... 1.2 times 2.5 as 12 times 25. Multiply the two numbers without the decimal point. Let us now multiply. You've been taught how to multiply numbers in your previous classes. Times 25. 5 will first of all be used to multiply. 5 times 2 is 10. Write the 0, carry 1. 5 times 5 is 5 plus the 1 you carry it. 6, clean that one you carry it, I don't do mistake with it. 2 times 2 is 4, write it directly under the 2 line. 2 times 1 is 2, then put it at A, you have, fill the gap here with 0, fill it with 0, then add the result that you have. This is 0, 10, carry 1, this is 3. This is your answer, but remember, what they gave to you was decimal places decimal place multiplication now since our answer is 300 without decimal recall you add two decimal places all together when you added the decimal place of the two numbers what you got was two decimal places so start from the unit number and count two numbers for the point start from the unit number and count two numbers before the point this one, one, two, then put your point. So your answer is 3.00, <clears throat> which is the same thing as three, if you like, because these other zeros are not significant. You should know that. So if you multiply 1.2 times 2.5, what you're going to have will be 3.00. Look at another example. 27. 2.7 times 4.3. 2.7 times 4.3. You have, this is a one decimal place. This is a one decimal place. Add the two decimal places. You have two decimal places. Circle it. You must not all circle. If you, but ensure you have it somewhere where you will not forget that the, the total decimal places you're dealing with is 2 or 7 or 9. Now come down, multiply the numbers without the point. 27, 2.7 times 4.3 will be multiplied as 27 times 43. That will be 27, 43 times 3 times 7 is 21. Write 1, carry 2 up here. 3 times 2 is 6, plus the 2 you carry it, 8, write it down, clean this 2. 4 times 7 is 28, write your 8 directly under 4, carry 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 2 you carry it, 10, write it down. This is it, fill the gaps in this manner, put your plus, add 1, 
16 carry one bring it down bring it down so your answer is 1161 without decimal point remember what they gave you total decimal was two decimal places so come down and count from the unit two numbers before the point one two before the point so your final answer is 11.61 so if you multiply 2.7 times 4.3 your answer will be 11.61 let us try another example 1.234 times 5.2 1.234 four times 5.2 i'll be careful with this example because this first decimal seems to be complex at your state but because of my kind of explanation you're going to get it but you already you already know what to do this number is a three decimal place number this is a one decimal place number if you add the two that'll give you four decimal places circle it then i'm going to multiply then without the point which is one two three four times five two now let's multiply them now you have one two three four times fifty two put your times two will be used to multiply each of the number note that two will be used to multiply each of these numbers or if you're done five will be used to multiply the same numbers each of this number and ensure you arrange your numbers accordingly now 2 times 4 is 8 2 times 3 is 6 2 times 4 is 4 and 2 times 1 is 2 now let's go to 5 5 times 4 is 20 i'll write 0 carry 2 to the next number 5 times 3 is 15 plus the 2 carry 17 write your 7 carry 1 clean this one so i don't do mistake 5 times 2 is 10 plus the 1 carried 11 right 1 carry 1 clean this one i don't do mistake 5 times 1 is 5 plus the 1 carried 6 fill the gaps with zeros add the two numbers you have 8 you have 6 you have 11 right 1 carry 1 up you have 1 2 and 1 you have that is 4 then you have 6 here is our answer but recall that what we add in total decimal is four decimal places so start from the unit number and count four numbers one two three four after the four put your point our answer is 6.4168 this is the result we are going to have if you multiply 1.234 times 5.2 so this is how you multiply numbers using this method. This is how you multiply decimal numbers using this method. With this method, you can multiply numbers in this form. So you are going to do this yourself. Do the following. Do the following. Number one, 2.7 times 1.5. 2.32 times 1.2 2.5 times 1.6 carefully multiply these numbers these decimal numbers and get the right answer remember the first thing you must always consider is their number of decimal places if you know them add them and keep one side multiply the numbers without decimal point get your answers and start from the unit to count back the decimal point you have in the answers do this and forward your answers let me see see you in the next class